Hey, it's Just So Trish, and it's my ACE Summer Gap update. All right, so we are in about a month. I'm probably going to get intruded. We are in about a month or two. I'm being intruded. A month or two into using ACE for gaps. And one of the first things we did is I went and I had them take the diagnostic test. So when I had them take the diagnostic test, I built, somebody's up. I built kind of a list of what I'd like to do and my goal was to have them do five books this summer. And typically a school year is 12 books, so six for fall and spring. So a little over planning, but anyways, that's what I did. What I, let me just say, there are really only three full curriculum self-teaching work textbooks, and that is Alpha Omega, which makes Life Pack, Christian Light Education, that makes Light Units, and ACE, which makes Paces. We have now officially have done all three. And I will tell you, for a long time, I've stayed very clear of ACE. I'm not going to lie, it had a stigma to it. I wasn't really thrilled. So far, I really like ACE the best. And I will tell you, I really like Life Pack the least. I like a lot of, because this has been a question that's come up, um, I like the colors of Life Pack. I just don't feel like their instructions always the clearest. There's no defined end marks, like where to end, where to begin. It gets a little confusing. I think their content can be good, but I don't always think their instruction is clear. And that's kind of why. And I find it to be a little overwhelming for us because we need structure. Christian Light is very, very structured almost to the point of being a bit tedious in nature, but I think that has to do with like a self character training that the Mennonites kind of aim for. So we don't need that. We might need that, but we can't handle that. All right. So for, this is not all of them. This is actually three kids. For three kids in a month, this is how many we've gone through. What I really like so far, Ace has, AC has 12 books in a year instead of 10, which means I actually get through these books per, quicker. So if you think about 180 days, 36 weeks, 12 books, these should take really no longer than three weeks. These are like a perfect three week book. With it being a three-week book means, you know, every three weeks we're through these. Which is good versus every three and a half, four weeks, if it was just a ten. It's like 3.6 weeks for a ten book year. Um, one of the things I've done, because we're working on gaps, we're not really moving f above our development age. I'm asking them to do these in two weeks. Except for the word building. The word building gets a little bit difficult because it's like, it's literally divided perfectly up into three weeks. Because like here's spelling list one, two, three. So I let them go at their pace, but we kind of end up doing these in three weeks. And that's okay. Um... I am loving these. One of the things I'm loving is the fact that I don't really have to plan. I don't, it's, I can't even begin to explain it. Open and go, sister. Open and go. And because whatever it is that we are working on, whatever the topic is for this one, and it says it in the... Um, my goals. What I like about this versus other ones is all the instruction we need is here. 
And the other books, you have to have mastered that skill to be ready for this, like a prerequisite. But when you're in here to do this work, the, in, the instructions here, where we've had it before where we were doing other things and we had to go back and find older books to do instruction. So one of the things that we've worked on that I've been really thrilled with is for Katie. So I know we've talked about in the past, Katie has been, I have a buddy. Katie has been behind. We're only playing with this because I'm YouTubing. I will regret this in about 15 minutes. So Katie needs to start sixth grade. Sixth grade is book 61, 1061. Katie started at book 1029. That's where her diagnostic test placed it placed and that was okay. So I will tell you her doing 1029 has been huge, huge. More so just really fine tuning some of those basic skills that she wasn't concrete on. So see, she, she did 1029, she did 1030 and she was halfway through 1031 and I'm just seeing things click. And I said, you know what? Let's go back and take the diagnostic test again. And that's at Ace Ministries dot com and it'll say assessments and then at the bottom it says diagnostic test you have to register once you register your account your kids information is there when you put it in so I can go there log in go to my kid and I can see what the diagnostic testing score was each time she takes it thank you ace ACE I know it's ACE um so I had her do it this time and this time she actually was able to skip 10 books. So I kind of take it as, you know what, she under, she's been taught, she knows, but there's just some fine tuning skills that she doesn't have down. And using the AC booklets, she was able to get it down. And then it's like things fall back into place that she's already learned. So we did 10, we were able to skip over 10 books. Now, being the well-prepared mom I am, I already bought all those books. <sighs> so it's okay. I mean, I have another kid who will use them. It's not a big deal. And really 10 books at $3, 30 bucks. That's, we're good. But I will, I'm going to have to put another order in for books. I thought I would be good till May. So far, not the case, but that's okay. And I'd rather do it this way. Um, I do want to talk about goal cards and I want to tell you about where I am with my planner. Um, I will say I'm keeping all of these for now. I think what I'm going to end up doing is bundling them up by semester and just storing them for the kids. I don't know why I'm just going to do that and hopefully I'll have a shed and I'll just pile them up. They are writing their spelling words just fine. And I have an inbox that I keep them and then I'm throwing all these into a milk crate under my desk. Okay, I know I have the planner. I'm on the fence. I'm really loving these little cards. These little cards are so nice. It, you know, and it doesn't feel as intrusive as a big book for them. So July is when those planners start that I bought. I'll have the link to my video for that planner down here. But um, I don't know if I'm gonna use these. I might very well use the planner for some of my kids and some of my kids only get a card. I did make my own that I was using, but honestly, these are so cheap. I'm not minding at all. I will tell you, Andrea Mills, if you find her, I'll have a link to her channel. She goes into detail how to make these on Word, in Word. Fantastic video, fantastic video. And I will say, like, I'm loving Andrea Mills because she has been an answer. I can't tell you how many times I have YouTubed and Pinterest searched for large family, homeschool, <laughs> small house organization. Sister Like makes videos for my needs and she doesn't even know it. But anyways, 
check her out. All right, so I'm really liking these cards. I have made different forms. Um, so this is the one I made the beginning of June. And so I highlighted the ones, I actually have all these books now, but I highlighted the books we had so I knew what I needed to order. The red is when we're on level, when we hit level. And the I'm crossing them out as we finish it, as we get done with the book. The cat is at the window again, mad. So I blued out with a DX for diagnostic that she tested out of this. So I have to remake this form. I think, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Besides the fact, like the ones I know, I might actually leave ones open. I haven't decided as we go. If you are on Facebook, I highly recommend you to find the ACE Homeschool Moms page. They have files. This is one of their files. It is so pretty. It's in color, but I didn't print it in color. So I actually changed this. Instead of my order tracking sheet, this is my sequence sheet for second through eighth grade. So in highlight, I'm highlighting, this is for Katie. I'm highlighting um, what she diagnostic tested out of and in blue is what she completed and tested out is kind of the way I'm organizing it. And I realized yesterday when this could change constantly that the highlighting in yellow and blue would work out really good. So, and then I just placed her science and social studies. Um, she'll be placed just on grade level. We're not actually doing Bible for ACE for her. So I did this. So the reason why I'm showing you all of this is I have to tell you, remember my beautiful planner? It's in a reconstruction mode. I took it apart. Um, I did not trash it by any means, but here it is. But one of the things I'm running into is the way I need to have my planner is so different doing ACE. I don't need 180 days. I don't need the sequence thing at all. Um, one of the things I've been keeping up with is in my binder, I just have the calendar and then I have per child here. This is um, a page I made for her grades. Again, I have to change it a little bit. I got to tweak it. So I have a grade sheet and then I have a page protector that I put insert all their tests. So when I get their book, I take their test out and I put it here. So when they're ready for a test, I take it. This is their um, two diagnostic reports that I've done. And then I just have that for each kid that I have. I also have an inventory of my answer key. Again, using that same page I got off the AC Homeschool Moms, um, I just have like what answer keys I own because that's been helpful. And then I have my orders in there and my passwords. So I went through, I am rebuilding and remaking plans on how I'm going to put it all together. But like I said, I didn't trash anything. It's all here. So kind of the nice thing about a comb binder. So expect that to come soon. All right. Things to know what I'm loving. What I'm finding really good is so when I don't have to plan with ACE and the nice part is in, sorry, I had to bend down in the AC book. I like that it tells them to score their own work love that. Um, I like that it has them, it tells them when to come to me. So I'm not chasing them. They're coming to me. I have one waiting on me right now. Um, and it has the checkups and it really comes down to, we don't beat you up because you didn't get a perfect score in your practice. This is practice. This is learn and practice. We don't score until the test. That's it. You know, so it's okay to get, you know, you don't have to be perfect here is what we're saying. I like this too. This is their way of practicing time test. You have to say these out loud, you know, and you have to get them within a minute. And then there's little things. So 
I really love the fact that I don't have to plan. I do not have to plan. And so it's really like restructured my whole um, planner plan. Because um, I'm not, you know, I came this close. I seen somebody, they went and filled out 36 of these. for, the, And I'm like, I'm not doing that. I know what it is to do that. I am not doing that. Um, so, because for the most part, they're doing about four to five pages a day because this is kind of review, filling in the gaps. I want them done in about two weeks. It's not always, but it does. I had it where we did VBS and I was like, you know what? We are going to do two pages every night. Nothing. We did nothing. I set it aside. I scratched the card, start over, replanned it. And you know what? It wasn't like the big hiccup. I didn't have the whole, oh, we're going to be behind. Now we need to rush. It was really freedom for me. And you know, my legalistic self needs that. Um, so I'm kind of marking out, these are my tasks for the books. And our job is to get them done. I've had it where they flew through one of these books in about three days. And I've had it where it's taken three weeks. So it all depends on the content inside in that child. Because of that, I can't over plan. It, I know it's just going to be fruitless. So that's my update. I know some of you want my update on learning to read. I'm not ready to make that video yet because we're still, we're three weeks in. I want a couple more weeks in. I almost want to wait till halfway through before I do an update. I like it. It's different from Christian Light Education, but I don't know. See, I don't know yet to give you that. So this is a super long video. I'm sorry. This is what it turned into. And that is my update. We are doing great. I love the fact that we can do the diagnostic test after a couple books to see if we actually accumulated more skills that we, the skills we needed to be further ahead without having to fill in all the gaps. I will tell you, I have no interest in doing that to progress ahead of their grade level. I'd rather them go through every book, but for filling in the gaps, I really like doing that. So let me know your thoughts, your experiences. I want to know. And if you have any questions, ask, please. I need to start writing down all my questions by category so I can make question answer videos. So I'll talk to you later. Peace out.